Creepers! Oh my gosh! I am so excited! Wow! This is going to be one of the best vlogs I've done in a long time. I am incredibly excited. I could barely sleep last night. Today is definitely going to be a super fun day. If you guys know me, if you've been following the channel, you guys know how much I love, love, love The Simpsons. Matt Groening, the creator of Simpsons, um, the creator of The Simpsons, is from Portland, Oregon. He actually went to Lincoln High School. A lot of the Simpsons characters are based upon real people, including his parents, Marge and Homer, his sister Lisa, Maggie, his Aunt Patty, to his Grandpa Abe. The street signs in Portland, all Simpsons characters. Today is going to be incredibly fun. We just got word, that's right, that the Simpsons actually have a plaque set up over a new bridge through the Portland Transportation Bureau, Matt Groening, and a couple other folks. Stay tuned. Today's definitely going to be super fun. Diddly doodly. Here comes our train now. This is one of Matt Groening's favorite places to come while he's in town, grab a bite to eat. And uh, what's really cool is right down here, actually in the window, if you look closely when you walk by, you can catch a little glimpse of Homer Simpson himself. Mm, Kenny and Zoops. The pastrami gargled noise, I always love seeing that. So cool, I love Matt for doing all this stuff for Portland. All right, on to the next. All right, Creepers, like I said in the beginning, I am so excited. We are now in Northwest Portland, just off the, hopped off the MAX train, the monorail, if you will. And right behind me here, if you guys can read the street sign here, we are in the Pearl District, and we are standing right on the corner of 11th and Flanders Street. And if you guys know the name Flanders, which most do, then you're on the right track, and where we're heading isn't too far from here. It's actually on the street. Flanders itself, so stay tuned. We're almost there. All right, guys, we made it. This is the new Ned Flanders Bridge here in Northwest Portland. I'm so excited right now. And uh, first we're gonna take a little walk over the bridge and then we'll come back through. I just wanted to kind of give you guys a feel of it. This is, uh, like I said, just open Friday. It crosses I-405. So when you're in Northwest, you can get all the way over to the other side of the freeway here without having to actually cross. And it's awfully loud because it is rush morning traffic, as you can see. This is definitely a really nice addition so that you don't have to go all the way up to Burnside and cut over or cut over on any of the other side streets. So, pretty great idea. And then if you can see, they've actually connected all these greenways here in to where it's bike and pedestrian only. So that makes it really easy for, you know, pedestrians and bicyclists to not have to, you know, figure out how they're gonna get back over to Burnside. But what makes this bridge so incredibly awesome, not only being called Ned Flanders, but wait till you guys see this, this is so cool. Dun, 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 dun. Check this out, you guys. The Ned Flanders Crossing. Hi diddly ho, neighborino. Through the city of Portland Bureau of Transportation. And if you look closely there, there's even got a pretty good diddly doodly there. <laughs> nice, that is so awesome. And this is through the Portland uh, Transportation Bureau and also Matt Groening gave it its, its go. As you can see, they're a pretty good affliction to Ned. 
<laughs> now all we need is the left torium and we'll be in we'll be in great hands. I just love this. This is so incredibly awesome. Absolutely. Portland, you're you are so cool for doing this and thank you so much to Matt Greening and all the cool people that have always kept Portland, you know, at the heart of the Simpsons. This is just so incredibly awesome. Look at this, you guys. They did such a good job on Ned. Oh, look, and they even have Matt, Matt Greening's little appropriate scribe there, but I love that they use actually the Simpsons font. I love this so much. This is like seriously one of the greatest days in Portland history. <laughs> yes. So recently they covered up the uh, Bart Simpson that was scribed into Lincoln High School, which was the high school that Matt Greening actually went to and graduated from. And so I think Portland redeemed itself by putting this in. <laughs> I just can't get enough of this. This is seriously one of the best things that's ever happened to Portland. And uh, thank you again, seriously, to everybody that was involved in this. Just incredible. Absolutely. I have to, I have to touch it just for <laughs> good measure. That is so cool, man. I am just so stoked on this. So if you guys want to come check this out yourself, it's literally on the corner of 15th and Flanders which is so appropriate. And I love the fact that, if you know the history, a lot of the street signs are actually Simpsons characters like Quimby Street, Flanders. Oh, there's a ton. Uh, Sideshow Bob Twilliger Curves, just a ton of Simpsons connections. But I have to say, hands down, this is probably one of the coolest things that Portland's done in a long time. <laughs> I just can't believe my eyes. This is just, just incredible. Absolutely. I was stopping and talking to a lot of the fans throughout the day. This is so good. And uh, you said a little tidbit. Oh, my last name's Simpson. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> so I, I was born in 1982, Maybe. so I think the first time I saw it officially was on the Tracy Almond Tracy show. Almond Clips. But then when I was, I guess, maybe second, third grade, I was like one of the only kids that could watch it. There you go. You know, kind of like older kids now or younger kids now. True. Can only watch South Park. We get the newer jokes now too. Yeah, when you right. go back and watch it, it's a little different. It is. It does. It's so, different, as they say. So, so cool. Yeah. No, I've always been a fan. Since yeah, I was uh, 80, 1980, and so the first clips I saw was Tracy Allman show. Right. Um, my dad actually made me and my brother bootleg Bart Simpson sweatshirts, which we got in trouble for wearing back in the day. You know, had the slingshot. Eat my shorts. My and shorts and man, he had man. the slingshot. So yeah, it was a little. Cool. It was far out, man. It was cool to look back on that. And I guess Matt himself has like a whole collection of bootleg Simpsons stuff. Oh, that's so cool. pretty cool. Nice to meet you, bro. A Simpsons fans got to stick together. A couple artists, but they'll take a photo. Okay. And then they'll Simpsonize it or I don't know. Oh. So I think it'd be cool to do one of our family. That would be way cool. It's not sanctioned by the Simpsons. <laughs> All right. I think Matt's pretty chill with certain things. Bootleg stuff. Like uh, they did a yearbook like it was 1990 and they did a Bart on the cover of the Cardinal Times for Lincoln High School. Oh, and cool. and uh, they actually got hit with the like season desist and then Matt called and was like, oh no you don't. Oh, and okay. Mr. Bailey was his teacher that he resembled Mr. Burns after. And I've got all that on the vlog and stuff. And so if you ever get bored, yeah, check it out. A lot of cool Simpson stuff, but this is this takes the cake for. This is pretty rad. This is pretty darn rad, man. I have to say. Gosh, I just love it. Can't get enough of it. And here's the actual placard for the bridge itself, the Flanders Crossing, 2021. I like how they put the roses on there too. That's pretty cool to talk with other San, uh, Simpsons fans though too. And uh, man, I just have to say, you guys definitely outdid yourselves on this one. I love this absolutely. Stoked. I don't know what else to say, but that's going to do it from the Ned Flanders Bridge. I love you guys for always creeping with. I could literally stand here all day and just talk to folks about the Simpsons and the bridge and the placard. Absolutely love it. Make sure you guys, if you haven't, ring that bell. That way when I creep, you guys will be the first to creep. You can also hit that red subscribe button, which will dial you in to being a creeper. And if you did enjoy this, make sure you give it a a big old diddly doodly. I love you guys. Creeper out for now, neighborinos. So I just walked down about, well, maybe three, four blocks 
to yours bar and check this out. I just remembered there's an entire Simpsons mural back here. The whole Springfield nuclear power plant. <laughs> we got drunk Barney just chilling in the corner, letting out a big old boop. And we got the kind of Simpson Portland vibe going on here, kind of like an intertwine of our city and some Simpsons. And then we got Moe's Tavern here. I can't drink at my bar, so I drink at yours. Moe's Tavern, Moe speaking. <laughs> so good. And, uh, yeah, this is only like maybe three, four blocks down from the, from the new Ned Flanders crossing. And then if you look over here, just like in the Simpsons actual episodes, we got King Toots Music Shop here where Lisa purchases her saxophone. And it's actually next to Moe's in the, in the show too, so that's pretty darn cool. And then if you go down just a few ways, we got El Barto himself. Looks like he's doing a little piece here with the spray paint can. Always crafty with the, the spray paint. So pretty darn cool in through this little back alley here. It's kind of like the employee only zone. But I'm always, I always ask and they're like, sure, go ahead and uh, film it. So I wanted to make sure I showed you guys this too just because it's so darn close. But a lot of ties to Simpsons through Portland. I love you guys very much for creeping with Creeper Out for now. Peace.